What's up, everybody? Courtney Morris, Natural Wellness Physiotherapy. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about different ways, uh, different thought processes to uh, maximize your muscle activation. Uh, a lot of times, we think that uh, for us to increase our muscle strength, that all we have to do is lift more weights. Um, I was recently turned on to uh, to a study from our friends at uh, Garage Gym Athlete, and uh, we'll link to their uh, to their podcast below that talks about this, uh, and we'll also link to the study that talks about it. But what it, the big overview of this study was that we can increase the amount of muscle activation that we that we perform um, with a third with uh, lower weights but higher speed, right? And so, uh, for example, uh, in this study, what they did was they they told people. You know, they found their one rep max, and they used between 30 and 60 percent of their one rep max. Um, and then they said they made sure they had really good technique, and then said, "Well, now just do that faster, right?" So if my um, one rep max was just for the sake of ease was 300 pounds on back squat, okay? I've got uh, you know 95 pounds on here, so I have about 30 percent of what my one rep max would be. So when they were doing this study here, they were doing a squat, and they said, "Okay, now just go down. You know, here's your regular squat. Okay, cool, good job." Now just do it faster, right? So they went down and then exploded out of this thing and they did, I think, sets of six and we'll, we'll link on that thing into here. But what they found, what they found was that even with 30% of the load, that they were able to activate 70 to 90% of the same muscle activation as they were when they were doing heavier loads. What does that mean? That means if you are training through an injury, then you don't necessarily have to put on a big heavy load. Um, you can still get a lot of muscle activation. It also means that for a lot of us, even if we're like powerlifting or we're trying to gain some strength in here, is that we're missing an easy component that, you know, if we're on a rest day, if we're on a recovery day or our body's beat up, we can put on a lot less weight, work on some speed, and still get those same muscles working. Um, another one that you can absolutely do is just do it with your band, right? Um, that way you don't have to worry about, you know, putting a big heavy bar around your neck or anything like that. Put your band on right here, go down nice and slow, explode up out of this thing, right? For strength and power, we're looking somewhere between six and 10 reps or so, but try that thing out. It's a really great tool. Don't lift, don't lift, you don't always have to lift more, just lift faster.